We've reached the end of week two, which means it is time for our weekly assembly video. I'm going to pass you over to Salma, who's going to kick us off with all the formalities. So make sure you are listening and you're ready for what will be our national anthem at school oath and our welcome to country. It's now time for the national anthem. Could everyone please stand up quietly? Could everyone please be seated? Okay. Now we'd like to recite our school oath. The flag reminds us that Australia is our home. We respect our parents, friends, teachers, school and community. We believe that everyone is important and deserves a fair go. We want to make Bethel a fair, safe and happy place for everyone. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of country throughout Australia and their connections to land, sea and community. We pay our respects to their elders, past and present, and extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples today. We announced last week that Breakfast Club is now happening on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday. It is happening on every single school day. So come on down, 8.30 a.m. in the Burr Building. Have yourself some breakfast, the more the merrier, and we'll see all your smiling faces down there next week, I'm sure. Bit of an update from our junior school council. Did you know one of the three committees we have on our junior school council is on sustainability? And you can see in these pictures here, they spent some time recently doing a bit of a rubbish audit and looking at all the different rubbish that is collected throughout the school and thinking about how we can best recycle and dispose of that rubbish in a environmentally friendly way. Some fantastic things happening in our junior school council and we'll have some more up Dates for you all in the coming weeks but for now have a look at some of these fantastic photos Hi everyone, we are here to speak about the reteach matrix expectations you're going to be talking about in your classes for week two next week. So next week we are focusing on moving to our learning space when we hear that music start so that we are there ready to learn when the bell goes. So make sure you are listening out for the music and as soon as you hear it go, you go to the bathroom, get a drink and then go safely to your classroom space for your next lesson.
Mr. Tran. That is a very shiny metal I'm seeing on there. I might just zoom in on that. Look at that metal. What, what did you get that metal for, Mr. Tran? So, Mr. Wilson, for those who don't know, um, I recently completed a marathon, which is a running event that goes for 42.2 kilometers. 42.2 kilometers? Yes, I know. That's a long way, Mr. Tran. That's more than just running around our oval. It was, a, it was a long, quite a long time, three hours and 34 minutes. So I ran continuously for three hours and 34 minutes. No breaks? Look, as much as my mind wanted to stop and rest, part of a marathon is being able to persevere and continue running all the way through. So I did continue running all the way through and that was one of the goals that I set for myself. Wow, so where did you run this marathon, Mr. Tran? Uh, this is up in the Gold Coast in the state of Queensland. Um, Gold Coast is a coastal town in Queensland. Fantastic. And Mr. Trent, tell me, you wouldn't have just woken up and been able to run 42 kilometres uh, all of a sudden. How, how did you get yourself ready for the, to do something as amazing as that? Yeah, look, it was, it was quite a long process. It actually started back um, at the beginning of the year um, in January, where I sat down and developed a bit of a plan and uh, so an action plan of what I was going to do in order to complete this goal. Because it, like you said, Mr. Wilson, it wasn't just me waking up one morning and being able to run that 42 kilometers. So there were times where I had to sacrifice and dedicate myself to my training. That involved me waking up really early each morning, staying up a bit later each night to get my runs in. And you know, through the cold months of the year, there were times where I wanted to not run and I wanted to stay home under my heater and there were days where I was tired after school but I made sure to adhere to my plans and trained and practiced and what I really wanted to develop was my perseverance which is like a muscle that we will work on. Perseverance doesn't just come naturally, it's something that we put ourselves under and I put myself in many uncomfortable positions to help me um, succeed with my marathon. Well done. That's a fantastic uh, effort, Mr. Tran, and what a wonderful achievement and, and a well-deserved gold medal you have there. And what a fantastic lesson for all of our students as well. Perseverance being a muscle that you've got to develop over time and you've got to practice and keep at it when things are tough, and then you'll be able to do some amazing things that you can persevere through, like Mr. Tran did here when he ran a marathon. Can you believe we are already beginning to plan for 2025? My goodness, time flies when you are having fun at Bethel Primary School. What that means though is that you might have a little brother or a little sister or a, or a cousin or somebody you know who is about to start school. And if that's the case, you need to let them know that it is time to tell our school office and get your enrollment forms in. And do us a favour as well and tell us, tell everyone how amazing our wonderful school is because we think it's pretty great and we'd love to keep adding more students through prep each and every year. So get those enrollment forms in so your family members or your friends can join you at Bethel Primary School. Though it has been a bit cold as of late, when the sun is out and shining, we like to do some of our learning outside. Have a look at the foundation students in Miss Walsh's classroom doing some of their learning outside in the beautiful sunshine.
there's no Miss Mickleff today, so you're stuck with me doing the House Point update, but let's see if I can give you the news. There's been some movement in the House Point, so let me have a look here. Hmm. Here we go. In fourth place, with 91 House Points, we have Lorikeet. In third place, with 97 House Points, we have Rosella. In second place, with 104 house points is my crew, Kingfisher, which means in first place with 117 points is Thornbill. Keep earning those house points and we will have our Rosella celebration. I think that's next week. That's coming up very, very soon. Good afternoon, girls, boys and school community. Well, I'm already looking forward to next week. This week's been fantastic enough, but next week I know that we've got many excursions happening around the school. So if you're lucky enough to go on one of those, make sure you have fun, but also make sure you rug up on the day because it's been very cold this week and in the last few weeks here at Bethel Primary School. Anyway, not much to report from me today, but have a great weekend. Enjoy it with your family and friends. And we'll see you all next week. And remember, Breakfast Club is now five days a week. So we'll see you there Monday morning. Bye. That is me, signing off.